ultraviolet is part of solar radiation, what comes from the sun. And uh, UVA1 refers to a specific band of UV light. It goes from 340 nanometers to 400 nanometers. So you can think of it as a form of sun rays. So UVA1 works um, for scleroderma and say morphia where people have a hardened skin. Uh, UVA1 basically uh, causes increase in the group of enzymes that will degrade or break down excessive collagen, which is the cause for hardened skin. Uh, at the same time, UVA1 uh, inhibits the cells in the skin that make collagen in the first place. So it, it essentially causes net reduction in collagen. When you use UVA1 to treat patients with atopic dermatitis, uh, one of the primary reasons it works is uh, there are these specialized cells from the blood that comes into the skin to cause uh, atopic dermatitis. And those cells are selectively uh, removed by UVA1. Because UVA1 is part of ultraviolet radiation, uh, whenever you have too much UV exposure to human skin, uh, there is greater risk of developing skin cancer. However, compared to UVB light, which is far more energetic, UVA1 is considered to be uh, less in its capacity or potential to cause skin cancer, but uh, still compared to no UVA1 exposure, you will increase your risk uh, down the road. Uh, with respect to sunburn, uh, it is really UVB uh, that is instrumental in causing sunburn reactions. So compared to UVB, UVA1 uh, is uh, safer in that regard. The frequency of treatment with UVA1, uh, it, it depends on several factors. One is um, for what condition you are receiving this light treatment. For uh, scleroderma, uh, we go anywhere from three times a week to once a week. Uh, and it has to to do with the collagen breakdown I was talking about earlier. Uh, for atopic dermatitis treatment, um, uh, we try to do three times a week, uh, but depending on where a patient lives, uh, the frequency of treatment could be uh, less than that, say once a week. This answer is uh, no. Uh, but for people with scleroderma uh, or other form of skin hardening, uh, in our experience, UVA1 can soften the skin. So uh, if they had restricted range of motion, uh, that will be improved. So skin doesn't feel as hard. And that improvement should last for several months uh, following a course of UVA1 therapy. With respect to atopic dermatitis, again, once you control that rash, um, once you stop the light treatment, I think eventually uh, the activity will come back. But uh, there ought to be some uh, you know, disease activity free or uh, minimal activity period uh, for which patient would uh, uh, feel good about the, the, their skin.